Hello guys, stop giving away your money to mechanics because this stuff is easy and I'll show you how to do it. Ever go into your car and have a heater soak issue where you go to crank it and it doesn't crank after maybe driving around for a little bit because you're hot headers? Well, this is how you fix that. This is the cure. Um, you buy yourself one of these bad boys. That is a Ford solenoid, starter solenoid. Anybody has these, walk into your Napa, AutoZone, um, favorite parts dealer, pick one up. They're cheap, 20 bucks for one of these. And if you want this particular one, this is a, this is a tough stuff one, hot start kit, that's the part number, 7629. It comes with that, it comes with wires, a bunch of wires, terminals, yada yada yada. And uh, this is how you wire it. This is what you start look, your, your uh, charging system slash starting system looks like. You got the key. I know it doesn't look like a key, but bear with me. That's the key. The key that starts the ignition hot when you crank it. That's the wire that sends the signal here to your S terminal, the small terminal, which I will show you in a bit, on the starter solenoid. Then you got your fat stud here. Fat stud. Is there such a thing as a fat stud? I don't think so. Call it a thick stud. Uh, actually, I'm thinking of digging a deeper hole with that, but we'll, 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 we'll run with that one. Thick stud. Uh, your alternator, charge wire, solenoid, thick stud. So used, this stud is used like a junction terminal, which also charges straight to your battery. Your battery positive connects to here. Then you got all your little little wires here with fusible links. That's your thick stud. Thick stud, skinny skinny stud or terminal. This is it right here. Your S terminal here is your skinny stud. Thick stud is right here. Not to be confused with the thick stud next to it that connects straight to the starter. You don't touch that one. See how it connects to the starter? You don't touch that one. It's this one here. Now this is how you're gonna wire it. Really easy guys, come on, real easy. Battery. Bat. Negative. Ground. Positive. La 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 la, right there. You, what I like to do is, I make a cable for that wire that goes to this stud. You could use one of these cables, something like this, nice little welding cable. Exeline makes this, this is a one zero gauge. You could use one of these. I had really good luck with those. Now, Remember how I said everything on this thick stud here is like a junction block? Well, you're gonna take all these wires, move them right here, because this is your hot side now. This was the hot side, but no more. This is gonna be empty now. You wire everything here. Uh, I'll just put one thing here, the alt. And everything else, diffusible links goes here, hot side. This grounds, this particular one, grounds on the body, so this is your ground. If you have any questions on how this works, I made a video on just this. Check out my channel. It's how uh, Star Solenoid uh, Troubleshooting, that's what it's called. This is a four post, four post terminal. You got the two thick terminals for the actual body, uh, the star start. Power to the starter, then you got the S terminal, then you got the I terminal. For this demonstration, disregard this I terminal. Some of them also have three posts to make it easier on you. We're just going to use this S terminal. This S terminal, you're going to grab this wire that goes to the S, ter S terminal here. So that's pretty easy, right? S terminal here, S terminal here. You go in a little, this little terminal here, a little, little stud, there's an S next to it. You grab that wire, you bring it all the way here. See how easy that was? So, 
your key here I'm not gonna draw one this time because I suck at drawing as you could tell hot at crank here now over here goes uh, what you could do here is you could use the existing cable that was here or get yourself a new cable and make one up and just connect this side of the relay to this thick stud here this one ah right there Mr. Thick Stud this one okay um, and you're basically done with that but don't forget oh look we just dropped out of the sky how convenient one of these things you need to jump this is basically a jumper you insert it here and in this case there's a terminal so I'm gonna have to make a wire here to connect these two this is a jumper to have these connected all the time so let me show you how that's gonna work also if you have to make this wire from the key to this start terminal longer the kit comes with wires oh, sorry about that you see it comes with wires you can extend it and butt connectors <laughs> I said butt connector <laughs> uh, dirty mind all right now this is how it's gonna work key crank hot this is hot this is live the coil will connect these two terminals once this is energized then you can get power here straight to the starter here and since this is connected to your small terminal it's gonna give power to this energize it's gonna energize this uh, solenoid which is gonna move the gear out your bendix over here the pinion it's gonna pop out and it's gonna give power from this to this because you give it you, you jump these two so this is gonna give power to the starter motor it's gonna crank your car works all the time ladies and gentlemen and this was really easy any questions uh, you can leave me a comment I'll answer right away and please subscribe thank you have a nice day